It's a bit of sort of a wild west, I think, when it comes to garbage in this city. I don't know how much I should be paying. I don't know how much my neighbors are paying for their waste. Um, our waste does fluctuate, but the price doesn't fluctuate. How do we really know that when we set our garbage and recycling and compost on the side of the street every night, that it's actually going to where they say it's going? I don't think business owners have any idea what happens to their trash after it gets picked up. As far as bottles and uh, cans and plastic, none of that stuff gets recycled at all. We're doing the bare minimum in requests by our residents to recycle, uh, and we need to do more. It's, it's a very dangerous job. It's a very hard job. This job destroys your body. You have to work on the 10 degrees if it is below 10 degrees. If it is uh, raining, if it is snowing, we have to be out there. The garbage has to be picked up. It's a, it's a lot of heavy lifting. Anybody who works for private sanitation, they, they, they have some type of injury. So how can you do this job and not get paid properly and not have the benefits? When I'm walking down the street with a bunch of garbage trucks, I know that there shouldn't be this many trucks, uh, this many garbage trucks running through the streets. As far as pedestrian safety goes, uh, just crossing the street or walking down the street, it is a big fear of yours when you have like these huge monstrous trucks next to you and you can like literally see them belching out fumes. We are encountering a lot of diesel emissions from local trucks that are on our streets. It has the same impact cigarette smoke would have on an individual. Asthma here is about eight times higher than the national average. So it's something that impacts us greatly. It'd be wonderful that there aren't trucks, you know, hopping around and going around. There aren't six different trucks and services that all service all of our neighbors. It just seems like such a waste. If there were trucks and companies who could bid on certain neighborhoods and that it's just known that this neighborhood is for this business and the next neighborhoods are for the other truck businesses, that would be wonderful. We can't go another hundred years with this system. It is not sustainable to continue to put trash out in landfills. Landfills are very expensive, uh, they're terrible for the environment. We would be doing a disservice to our children, to our grandchildren. Uh, we would not be leaving this city better off if we don't address sanitation seriously.